The Me Too movement took off in South Korea recently when a female prosecutor came forward with her sexual harassment experience within the country's highly regimented prosecution system. And now it's spread to the culture industry with women in the field speaking up about being sexually assaulted by respected male directors and actors. Park hee has the full story. The Me Too movement has erupted in Korea's culture industry. The latest revelations show that behind great literature and highly praised art performances, there's a long-hidden, ugly truth. The spotlight turned to cultural circles when a female poet first publicized her experience of being sexually harassed by a famous male poet and how such incidents were common in the field. But momentum grew, especially after a renowned theater director was found to have sexually abused numerous women in the industry. Lee Yoon Tech, a former artistic director of the National Theater of Korea and one of the most influential figures in theater, was revealed to have sexually harassed women in theater circles, even raping a former actress. He admitted to the allegations in a press conference. His case was followed by allegations against famous actor and professor Cho Min Gi. Jo is surrounded by rumors that he sexually assaulted his students at Chongju University for years, and these rumors are backed by a series of student testimonies. Jo has firmly denied the rumors, but Chongju University has suspended him from his position following the results of an internal probe into the allegations, and the police have opened an investigation into the case. Such incidents are bringing attention to the deeply hierarchical nature of the industry. Men still wield the power, making women vulnerable to sexual abuse and discrimination. There are calls for a lasting reform of the system so that the Me Too movement does not just end as a temporary measure to merely punish a handful of men. Park Hee-jun, Arirang News.